Hi there friends, Pastor Bill Johnson here from the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. This is another daily episode of We Are The Church. Happy Thursday to you friends. Great to be with you. Thank you for stopping in for these handful of minutes together. And uh, today I'm going to be reading from Paul's first letter to the Timothy. This is toward the end of our Bible, near the end of the New Testament. And I'll be reading in chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. And this is what the author says. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for everyone, for kings and for all who are in high positions, so that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and dignity. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. First of all, then, I urge that prayers, intercessions, supplications, and thanksgiving be made for everyone. You know, if we took that seriously, uh, it would take us a great deal of our day just to finish our prayers. And you might think, what good would come of that? What would we get done? Who would do all the other stuff? But prayer paves the way for so much, especially in terms of the agenda that Christ has for his church in the world. Prayer is not a last resort. If nothing else works, try prayer. Prayer is the first thing to which we turn. Prayer is the first agenda item on Paul's list as he's writing to Timothy. Now, he was writing at a time when the church was being persecuted, especially by people like kings and those who were in high positions. And Paul's answer to that is to pray for those people. You know, anytime we calm ourselves and quiet ourselves, prayer has an ability to bring a strange, still peace over everyone. And as we are praying for our enemies and for those who may be doing us harm, we find that part of the end result is we end up living a more quiet and a more peaceable life. Because instead of ramping up uh, all of the, the lists of, uh, of things that were done to us and all the wrongs that, that were inflicted upon us, by giving that to God and, and in praying for the people, um, even the people who might be persecuting us, then we find that we uh, come to a place of greater peace. Prayer is something that we should turn to each and every day, first thing when our feet hit the floor. Even if it's as simple as, oh God, help me today. But prayer is the agenda that Paul has set before the church and, and recommended to his friend Timothy, who at the time this letter was written was struggling quite a bit in his own ministry. Paul will go on to encourage him and give him some advices on how to organize the church where Timothy is serving for ministry. But before we get to all that, before you go to the library, before you look online, before you seek the advice uh, of others, the first thing that Paul says that we are meant to do is to pray. And speaking of which, if you haven't already, maybe it's time to pray right now. Lord, we can get so overwhelmed by the things that are facing us in this world, but when we take these moments to stop and to sit before you and to pray, the sense of your presence, the sense, the knowledge that you hear us and are receiving these prayers for ourselves on behalf of others, prayers of thanksgiving for the many blessings in this life, prayers of intercession for others. We thank you, Lord, that you do receive our prayers and we thank you for the effect that they have on us as well, for we are made calm and peaceful. We know that all is right as long as you are with us. And so we lift these prayers to you today and ask you to guide us through the, the various ta tasks and meetings that we may be engaged in. In all of this, Lord, we ask simply in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, prayer. I'm not going to ever stop reminding people. Prayer is uh, an essential first ingredient in the life of discipleship and the life of faith. So have a great day. Pause wherever you need and spend time in prayer with God.
The rest of the work will get easier if you do so, I promise. And in the meantime, remember our three simple rules by which we are living. Do no harm, do all the good you can, and stay in love with God. And I'll see you soon.